I'm Nathan Merchant from the University of Bath in the UK. Uh, I'm doing a PhD on the effects of underwater noise on marine life. We're out here in the Northeast Pacific trying to uh, lay a cable and install some instruments uh, next to a hydrothermal vent uh, at Endeavour. Sound underwater can travel much further than sound in air. So we have to think about sound in a different way uh, underwater to, to an air because it can affect marine life over, over very large distances. This is a hydrophone uh, which records underwater sound. Um, so this is going to be linked onto the Neptune uh, network and we're going to be listening to the sound uh, underwater next to this hydrothermal vent. And they haven't really been studied so much acoustically. Um, what, what's happened in the past is we've had ROVs going down and, and listening to the hydrothermal vents uh, for a small period of time. But what we're going to be able to do with the Neptune data is to put a hydrophone next to a hydrothermal vent for a year, let's say, and really look at the, the long-term behavior, how the noise from the vent changes depending on the, the activity. It's basically like an underwater microphone. So this uh, transducer uh, converts the sound into an electrical signal and then it's called a smart hydrophone because it digitizes the signal, but then we convert that into a spectrum. So you see uh, the different frequencies w at which sound happens and how that evolves through time. And then it's gonna send that information through the Neptune network uh, back to shore.